Johnson has canceled the last five dates of his U.S. tour out of respect for those lost in Littleton. But the singer says artists like himself are not the ones to blame. This is perhaps the sickest group ever promoted by a mainstream record company. After Columbine, it seemed that the entire focus on why the shootings occurred was because the killers listened to Marilyn Manson. Two years after Columbine, Manson finally returned to Denver. The Ozfest at Mile High Stadium brings shock rocker Marilyn Manson to Denver tomorrow. There were protests from the religious right. But I thought I'd go and talk with him myself. When I was a kid growing up, music was the escape. That's the only thing that uh, had no judgments. You know, you can put on a record and it's not going to yell at you for dressing the way you do. It's going to make you feel better about it. Mm -hmm. Some will be so brash to ask if we believe that all who hear Manson tomorrow night will go out and commit violent acts. The answer is no. But does everybody who, who watches a Lexus ad go and buy a Lexus? No, but a few do. I definitely can see why they would pick me because I think it's easy to throw my face on a TV because I'm, in the end, sort of a poster boy for fear because I represent what everyone's afraid of because I do and say what I want. If Marilyn Manson can walk into our town and promote hate, violence, suicide, death, drug use, and Columbine-like behavior, I can say, not without a fight, you can't. The two byproducts of, of that whole tragedy were uh, violence and entertainment and gun control and how perfect that that was the two um, things that we were going to talk about with the upcoming election and also then we forgot about Monica Lewinsky and we forgot about the president was shooting bombs overseas yet I'm a bad guy because I've, I've sang some rock and roll songs and who's a bigger influence the president or Marilyn Manson do you know I'd like to think me but I'm gonna go with the president do you know that the day that Columbine happened the United States dropped more bombs on Kosovo than any other time during that war. I do know that, and I think that that's really ironic, you know, that, that nobody said, well, maybe the president had an influence on this violent behavior. No, because that's, that's not the way the media wants to take it and spin and turn it into fear, because then you're watching television, you're watching the news, you're being pumped full of fear. There's floods, there's AIDS, there's murder, cut to commercial by the Acura, by the Colgate. If you have bad breath, they're not gonna talk to you. If you got pimples, the girl's not gonna fuck you. And it's just this, it's a campaign of fear and consumption. And that's what I think that it's all based on is the whole idea that keep everyone afraid and they'll consume. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really right. as simple as it can be boiled down to. Right. If you were to talk directly to the, to the kids at Columbine or the people in that community, what, what, would, what would you say to them if they were here right now? I wouldn't say a single word to them. I would listen to what they have to say, and that's what no one did. I'm Nicole.